I'll be teaching you how to do the Rainwall's Family Home Project. Sorry for posting this late. Okay. So first as Ricardo and Marina Ramos are considering whether to buy their first home and have spoken to three lenders about taking out a mortgage for the house purchase. They now have to pay $1,500 per month in rent and can pay up to $1,600 per month for a mortgage. Marinda has created an Excel spreadsheet to compare the terms of the mortgage. She has, has asked you to help her complete the analysis of their loan options. Go to Mortgage Calculator Worksheet. The cells in the range B5 to B7 have defined the names. But one is incomplete and will and could be confusing. Cell A2 also has a defined name, which is unnecessary for a cell that will not be used in a formula. Update the defined names in the worksheet as follow. Delete the loan payment calculator defined name. Okay, so first you can open the mortgage calculator, which should look like this. <clears throat> then, like it says, go to loan payment calculator defined name. So, if you it's right here, click Loan Payment Calculator, click Formula, then you click Name Manager. Then you're going to go to Loan Payment Calculator, which is this, and you click Delete, which is up here. Click OK. And click Close. Next, it says for cell B7, edit the defined name to use Loan AMT as the name. Is, this is the Mac hint. It says delete the existing defined name, loan AM, and add the new defined name. So we're going to go back to name manager. And now we're going to go to loan AM. So you're going to double click it to like, change its name. So you're going to delete the name. Loan underscore AM. Make sure it this example. And click close. Okay, then it says in cell B7, calculate the loan amount by entering a formula without using the function that subtracts the down payment from the price. So we're going to click loan amount, you got, click at equal, then we're going to click price minus down payment, and you click enter, which should be 30 $315,000. Then it says, Miranda also wants to use the fine names and other calculations to help her interpret the formulas. In the range D3 to D7, create the fine names based on the values in range C3 to C7. So we're going to highlight from right to all the way to here, and we're going to click create from selection. Make sure you has low left column. Click OK. Okay. Then it says, Miranda um, wants to calculate the monthly payment for a loan to purchase the feature. Street house at the most favorable interest rate she found online. Calculate the payment as follows. In cell D5, start an enter formula by using the PMT function. So D5 is over here. Click enter and you type PMT. Okay, then it says for the rate argument, divide the rate by 12 to use monthly rate, monthly interest rate. So in order to do that, we're just going to click on the percent right here slash for divide 12 <clears throat> then you put a comma to separate it then it says for the n per argument use the term in months to specify the numbers of period so we're going to click it make sure it's 360 so i'm going to click on that you should get term in months like this you click a comma to separate again for a pv argument use loan amt to include the present value so I'm gonna go to loan AMT, which is this right here, because we changed the name earlier, so you should know this is loan AMT. Then you're gonna add a parenthesis to close and <clears throat> to close that. Insert a negative sign. 
after the equal sign in the formula to display the result as a positive amount. <clears throat> so we're going to go to the equal and then add a minus. Enter. Sell D6 into a formula without using a function that multiplies the monthly payment by the term in months and then subtract the loan AMT from the result to determine the total interest on the mortgage. So in cell D6 is over here. So you're going to enter equal, then parentheses. Okay, so it says from multiplies the monthly payment. By the term in months. Okay, so monthly payment is here. So monthly payment, then you're gonna do shift eight for the multiply sign. And then term in months right here. And then close it with the parentheses. Then we might subtract our loan amount, which should be like this. And you click enter, you should get 247516 dollars Okay. Step seven, it says Miranda, I mean, sorry, step six, it says, in cell D7, enter a formula without using the function that adds the price to the total entrance to determine the total cost of the house. So we're then go to D7, which is over here, and click equal. So they want us to subtract the loan AMT, sorry, sub <laughs> it wants us to add the price to the total interest. So you click price plus total interest enter five thousand nine hundred seven thousand five hundred seventeen that's what you get then it says Marinda wants to compare the monthly payments for the interest rates that vary from four point zero zero to 4.96 percent and the terms of 180 240 and 360 months. She has already set up the structure and the data table on the range A11 to D24. Create two variable data tables as follows to provide the comparisons that Marinda requests. In cell A11, A11, enter a formula without using the function that reference references the monthly payment amount because Marinda wants to compare the monthly payments. So we can go to A11 right here. We click enter. Then we're gonna go to uh, monthly payment. We're gonna click on this. Should be like that. Click enter. Which should get 1563. 